equal to limit of this then s equal to 1 by 4 s is half s is 3 by 4 and s is 1 now focus on this define s 1 minus 1 upon 2 square 1 minus 1 upon 3 square and so on up to 1 minus 1 upon n square it means you can see inside the bracket a square minus b square formula or identity is forming and this is nothing but a plus b within bracket a minus b use this identity s equal to limit n tends to infinity and expand these brackets using this identity it will become 1 plus 1 upon 2 and 1 minus 1 upon 2 this is first expansion and uh, again in product 1 plus 1 upon 3 and 1 minus 1 upon 3 this will go up to 1 plus 1 upon n and 1 minus 1 upon n this will end here it means as you are increasing n then this is tends to which number we have to identify now this is limit n tends to infinity this first bracket will be 3 upon 2 and this is 1 upon 2 similarly 4 upon 3 into 2 upon 3 and so on check this one it will be n plus 1 divided by n and in other bracket n minus 1 divided by n now focus first and third term its numerator is cancel out by its denominator 3 means numerator of first term is cancel out by denominator of third term not I will not say term means fraction and denominator of this one or you can say denominator of second one second one fraction as you are seeing this one fraction is cancel out by after skipping one fraction its numerator means denominator of second fraction is cancel out by numerator after a fraction is skipping numerator skip this one and it will cancel out next one means first denominator is left means 1 upon 2 and uh, if you proceed this like that means skip one fraction that will cancel out denominator and numerator of coming one will cancel out by previous escaping denominator means this one cancel out by this denominator and its denominator is cancel out by just before this fraction just before this fraction its numerator means in the last n plus 1 divided by this one we left it means take n as a common 1 upon 2 it will be n plus 1 or you can write this one equal to limit is tending to infinity 1 upon 2 1 plus 1 upon n as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity this 1 upon n will tend to 0 it means limit is half so option b is right choice